Hello everyone, this is part 9 of Centaur Era Elementalist. I know it's part 9 because I put in some extensive research to make sure I nailed the episode number this time. Here we are in depths. <laughs> uh, we are faced with 9 slime creatures, one for each episode so far. We arranged that one with the crawl devs just to, you know, thought it would be a nice little touch. We very recently kind of have our tornado castable. So it's at 54% to fail at the moment if we have a wizardry staff wielded, which doesn't sound that castable, but when you consider that Sif Muna will mostly protect us from miscasts, um, we kind of can. Uh, also, we don't mind spamming it here in depths because we have, we have this nice amulet here, Imua Jepti. That gives us Gourmand, so we can basically eat everything that we kill. And then, plan for this one, we're going to finish off Depths, down to Depths 5, and then we're going to start collecting runes, probably starting with the Slime Pits. So this right here might be a little bit of a sneak peek of what, of what you're in store for. Let's see if we can cast a Tornado, we can. Alright, um, don't like the spark wasps, we can airstrike it, it's flying, and we are met with the ghost of best god beer, <laughs> um, again, I want to get the spark wasp, let's go back upstairs actually, I'm gonna X that out, uh, the spark wasps are a bit scary. Alright, there we go. Here's a Juggernaut. That's also scary. Let's put Wormbane on to get a Mana again, and we'll take that upstairs. And to where I figured out, oh, you know what we can do? Um, if we passage from here over here, he's probably too dumb to realize he can run around. So then we can just poison vapors him to death. Is he too dumb? He just he just left. <laughs> All right. I don't know that we can afford to have a juggernaut just running around. Nah, maybe we can. Let's go a freezing cloud. Uh, take this guy up, although it's a bit scary because yeah, we we know the juggernaut is running around. Uh, there he is. Mm. Come back. Okay, we definitely do not want to fight a rock sasha at the same time as a juggernaut because he's going to start copying it. We can get rid of him first. Oh, there are multiple Raksashas. Oh no. <laughs> it's like Inception. They're gonna copy each other. And then the Juggernaut. So we can't have that. Right. Oh, well, hello. Okay, so. Why didn't he come up? Was he a Raksasha Juggernaut? No. He just didn't wanna come. Okay, so the plan is to poison vapors him to death while blinking away. Yeah. If we go an acid wand. Okay, we can probably worm bane him. Um, and then we've got the Monitor, which is now. Okay, we need to get away from him. What if we try to finish him with a Bolt of Cold? That's probably what I should be using here, actually. Rather than... 
Nope. Acid? Acid? There we go. Okay. Yeah, rather than trying to kite him with poison vapors, probably should just be kiting him with poison um bolt of cold. That's what I was trying to say. Can we take the bogget up? Yep. Oh hello. Hello. Charlatan. I think that might be a noob in disguise. Is that you? Alright, um, again, we want to focus on the Bogarts uh, because they're the ones who are going to summon all this stuff and just go crazy. Uh, Azel, you are much less scary when you appear in depths and not in the snake pits. Is Azel flying? No. She looks like she's a snake that should be able to fly, but maybe that's not possible. Um, what about Bolt of Cold? She's too far away. We can give her a freezing cloud. Okay, and then we just hold her in and just zap her with lightning. Cool. Uh, we're out of mono. Okay. Seems to have stopped now, and I don't know if you could hear it, but my my neighbor started playing loud music just before. Anyway, all right. Actually, I should stand up the top so that they'll be held in. This guy is hasted and mitered, so got to be a bit careful of him. I was gonna say, but he's in the freezing cloud, so that's okay. And then he got out of it. Hit him with bolt of cold. He was gonna kill us. Let's just go away, we'll reset, we'll get our health back, we'll start again. Um, I think that might be a bot. So, um, there are a whole bunch of bots that are based on, I think the original bot is called QW, and it's made by Elliptic. And if you don't know who Elliptic is, he's this guy. Probably the best crawl player of all time. If not the best, then certainly up there. Um, maybe Beam is dead. <laughs> uh, right. There, there have been issues in recent times with the sequel bot. But in any case, Elliptic is the guy who won 43 games in a row. Um, an amazing crawl player. And so he built a bot called QW. And most of the other bots are all... Oh, there we go. 33 okay that's not that doesn't include all of them because he's a very honorable player um, and some of his wins were during a, a, a bug where characters had double damage for melee attacks all right so let's let's try and actually make the point um, he made the QW bot and so most crawl bots you ever see will be based on that and I think T.S. Botto. Yeah, or Test Botto maybe. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure that's one of them. One of the, the recent achievements of QW is that it can now win 15 rune games, which is pretty amazing for a bot. Um, he can also win extremely quickly so I have the world record for human real time, which is 45 minutes or so. Is that true? I don't even remember. But anyway, the bots can win in um, like 10 minutes or even faster if they're offline. They win in like three minutes. Um, I don't think we want any of that stuff. Why do you hurt so much? Are you a shapeshifter? Maybe. Let's check our skills. We're almost at 20 for air magic, which uh, with wizardry is 45% on tornado. 
So we're still going to need to train that for quite a while to get it really, really reliable. Uh, this looks like a great freezing cloud. And there's a point that um, I wanted to make about Tornado, um, but forgot. And that's that Tornado is not fast. So if you think about, um, say, Firestorm or Glaciate, or even Shatter to an extent, your other level 9 spells, uh, they tend to just blow enemies up. Whereas Tornado does blow enemies, but it blows them around rather than up. Which means that um, you've got to be tanky enough to not die while it's happening. And but it's particularly worth noting that as monsters get blown around you, um, they can hit you. So if you're going to be a tornado person, try not to be a complete glass cannon. Because, yeah, things are going to hit you as you cast Tornado. The Book of Clouds, I think we learnt... Yeah, we learnt the clouds that we want already. Except Conjure Ball Lightning, maybe, but we don't have the spell levels for that. Or the Aralek. Two things which sort of preclude us from using that without just dying. Freezing Cloud, really useful in corridors, by the way. Uh, that's he's got to be flying. If he is, if his tail has wings in it, he's got to be flying. Oh dear, that's a lot of spriggans. I wonder if this means enchantress is in here. Um, fortunately, they can't dodge freezing clouds. Doesn't matter how much evasion you have. Uh, yep, there is the Enchantress. Let's XV her. Uh, she has a Rapier of Distortion, so we really can't allow her to hit us with that. Um, we can Airstrike her. She can't dodge that. And she's also going to take damage from being in the Freezing Clouds. This is maybe a bit foolish. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, because she's going to do that. She's really fast, and she attacks really fast. So... Um, if we let her on top of us, um, we're losing to this guy. Let's start. I think we need to heal. We lost our deflect missiles, so we need to, yeah, not just die to a bolt of cold. Um, I guess we can poison vapors him. I'm pretty sure. A max bolt of cold is about 70 or 80 damage from those guys, but we'll resist half of it because we have a point of RC. So we're not going to die just yet. Um, let's go up there. Okay, yeah. Basically, if Enchantress gets on top of us, um, we're going to get Distortion attacked. Um, that might include Banish, but you also saw then it can mean we might get teleported around the level. Or we could just get blinked around, which also could be really bad. Also, this guy, could you just stop? Thank you. Let's get our deflected missiles back up. There we go. <laughs> he says he knows how far advance. I record these games. Um, at the moment, I am much more ahead of where I normally am. Um, but yeah. So if you're watching this, uh, it's very in the past for me. Here's Enchantress. Um, we need to blink away from her. The problem is she's really fast, so I don't. We're not going to very reliably get away from her. How fast is she? I feel like maximum fast. As in, even with the Enchantress, she's 10 speed but moves 60% faster than that, which would be 14 speed. Are we as fast as she is? Surely not. 
Maybe we are. Okay, never mind. She can haste herself. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I think we just freezing cloud her. If we get banished, it's actually not that big a deal. Um, and let's go airstrike because that can't miss. We've explored a lot of the floor, so even if we get... Okay, good. We got her anyway. Even if we got teleported around the floor then, um, it wouldn't have mattered that much because we've yeah explored most of it already. It's most dangerous when you, you've you just come down to a new depths floor and for all you know, there are really dangerous vaults with um, caustic strikes and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we're going to ID her fairy dragon armor. Plus one fairy dragon scales. That's really not that exciting. The slayer is not very relevant. Okay. All right. So this seems like it's a sort of a a Spriggan slash Hell Knight castle. The two are working in working as an operation, which is interesting. That's a Kaka Demon. They are flying, so we can airstrike them. Uh, this is probably a good reason to have summon Lightning Spire, because we could put a, a Spire down to block Malmutate, and then we could airstrike it from behind. Um, but otherwise, all we can do is try to airstrike it quickly before we get Malmutated. That's basically the only play we've got. Um, by quickly, okay, we feel frail, so we did get punished. Um, that wasn't very quick. <laughs> For a monster that was flying, that airstrike seemed to do very little damage there. Maybe what I should have done is put down a freezing cloud. And then, well, there's another one. Let's just run. <laughs> Maybe that's the better play. What we can do... No, we're out of mana. Okay. Um, potions of Mutation, we only have five. I don't think we need to try to get rid of Frail. I don't think that that's a huge deal. Um, because if we're playing this correctly, we shouldn't really be... Your thoughts seem clearer, okay, thank you. Uh, we shouldn't really be getting hit too much if we're not being cocky and trying to stack discharge whole packs at once. Um, manual of long blades, we don't really need that. Um, speaking of static discharging whole things at once, <laughs> here we are. We are trying to pick up... Ah, we have a rune buckler. Okay. And also an amulet that we don't really need. Okay. I mean, we, tr we traded Frail for... Um, Clarity, which is actually not the worst trade in the history of trade deals. Um, okay. Took a bit of cold damage there, just to kill the Hell Knight. And it looks like you want to do a lot of, there we go, a lot of chatting. I don't mind chatting um, if you ever see me playing, but uh, I don't really want to talk about everything that happens while I'm recording. Uh, Demonologist, let's not worry about being a banished for one. Maybe if we put down Freezing Cloud and Bolt of Cold them. Yeah, okay, cool. New stuff, stuff of energy. Okay, well that lets us, it lets us do a couple of things. One, we could train evocations to get channel minor. 
Yeah. I feel like I'd rather just train invocations to actually get our God ability channel mana stronger if we're going to do that. But the other thing is that Staff of Energy removes all hunger costs. So it will let us spam um, Tornado even when we're in the extended part of the game. Or say we're in Slime. Ruined Helmet. Our current helmet is a plus one hat. Wow, okay, that's really underwhelming. Plus one helmet, and it's a really cool helmet. I really like this one. Okay, cool. Just to confirm, we have still never seen a barding. Nope. Or a scroll of acquirement. Nope. Um, maybe if we ever see a scroll of acquirement, you will see this, but um, there's a Oops, I meant to do Freezing Cloud, but it kind of worked. Uh, there's a trick with acquirement scrolls that give you Centaur Bardings if you don't have one yet. Oh, that guy was clever. He ran out of the cold. It's a smart troll. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of different slimes running at us. What if we try a tornado? Ah, oh, we failed it. <laughs> Never mind. Also, when we have the wizardry out, we have no RF. So where the dragon's a bit scarier. Can we try again? Nope. There we go. Cool. We got a book, but I don't really want to find out just yet because we're being chased down by a frost giant, which we've learnt can be kind of scary for us. Not too bad. This book has uh, sublimation of blood. Uh, I feel like that's not really necessary. So sublimation trades your health for mana, but we have several things that make that a bit unnecessary. One is that our, our plus cast status lets us cast spells without mana anyway, and then we also have channel magic from Sif. Um, this guy goes to flying, so they take extra extract damage, but this guy, best god Bio, <laughs> uh, great name by the way. Uh, seems to just be completely ignoring them. How did you die? You feel that strong. Alright, well we're going to go up and heal. Maybe we can kill him with Tornado. And we can airstrike him while he's flying around. Uh, he's killing us. He can do... Up to 50 damage, okay. Uh, we need to go back upstairs. Oh man, he hurts. He also drains. We're red drained, okay. Turns out we can't mess around with best god Bio. Uh, what does that do to our spells? Makes them more unusable. Whoops. Um, and then immediately after that happens, here's a shadow dragon. Let's take him up. So he can bolt to draining us even more. Um, let's try not to kill him and then finishing him off with Wormbane, which should power it up. Plus 14. Cool. We get closer to plus 18. Um, I feel like Tornado is never going to work when we're strained. In fact, can Freezing Cloud work? Kind of. Kind of. Uh, freezing Cloud does nothing to the Frost Giant though. We just... Suddenly a Caustic Strike pack. Um, well, I think we we fight the Frost Giant instead. Uh, let's start running though. Dude, calm down. Let's shut the door. Uh, we need to pick a new stair. Or maybe we can just hide.
Nope. Uh, let's blink. I was hoping it would go down, not up. That's okay. Just take this very slowly. We don't want anything else turning up and just like best god beer and just um, owning us. Okay. Uh, we need a heal, but we can't do that with best god beer next to us because he can hit us for 50 damage when we do it. Um. Where are the stairs we're going to? All the way down there. I think what we do is we read a scroll of blinking. We blink down here. We heal. And then we start very slowly running to the other upstair. Uh, okay. So we've got a spark wasp. Uh, we have no RLEC. Uh, we're nearly dead. And we don't have our deflected missiles either. Uh, I think we read another blink scroll. We go down. Okay. Let's get to this upstair. All right. Okay. So the reason that that happened basically is that. Oh, okay. I can't dig this wall. Uh, a caustic shrike pack spawned on this floor. Um, and they are terrifying and we almost died and used a lot of our consumables to try to get away from the caustic shrikes But yeah, those dudes are insane uh, We can probably fight them with full mana though and full HP But man, okay Best God Bio really messing us up I don't think we have an easy way, no, of getting our corrosion. Uh, not from a ring anyway. And what is this? This is some epic amounts of backspawning going on. Well, it's not really backspawning, but it's just new packs of enemies spawning on our previously cleared floor. Ah, uh, too clever. I tried to trick the Hell Knight into stepping onto the... Okay, onto the freezing cloud, but went around it. Okay. Really need to get rid of this drain. It's an issue as well. Killing Caustic Shrikes will help a lot in that regard, actually, because they're worth so much experience. Alright, so there's one. Okay, so we want to do a couple of things. We want to put down Freezing Cloud, and then we want to start air striking them because look at them, they've got wings, they're flying. Uh, two of them, though. Three of them, four of them, never mind, we're teleporting. That's too crazy. Maybe we can airstrike one to finish it off. Okay, I don't know if we got it, did we? No. All right, that's way too scary. Uh, we also need to recharge our digging wand. Um, it is out, we got 14, that's good. How do we deal with a pack of four caustic shrikes when we're red drained and have no arc corrosion? Good question. Hmm. You saw that we, we can deal with one. We definitely can deal with one. Uh, but we cannot fight four. Not even with Tornado. As I was explaining, um, when you use Tornado, things still get to hit you. Um, maybe we can... Uh, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> I meant to do Freezing Cloud. That was Mephitic. That was unfortunate because that was a good chance to get one on its own. Maybe I should pre-put down a passage so I can run into it if we see the, sh the shrikes. And again. Can yell as well. No. Where were they? 
So I can go Shift X, Control F to forget the floor, and we can find them. We're gonna have to deal with them. It's too too scary having four core six tracks running around on the floor. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, there's two of them. All right, let's passage away. Uh, we failed it, great. And again, we failed it again. It's a 30% chance to fail, I guess. Okay, we got it that time. Um, but where's the other one? What happened there? Huh? I'm really confused, but uh, this is no good. How are we for haste? We only have two, that's barely any. Um, the passage being there but not near me suggests that a monster flew through it, but there's no monster over there. Unless there are even more shrikes behind me. What if we dig a kill hole like this so we can take one away? Um, now we're on this crazy floor. We have four scrolls of fear, but that's unlikely to fear it. We could read a vulnerability first to halve its MR and then fear it. That might be the play, actually. Okay, vulnerability down. You see it nearly kills us. Read fear. Got it, okay. Now let's try to heal. We know Best God Beer is running around as well as a lot of other stuff. Also, let's use our regen. Um, ability because that's something that we keep forgetting to do Okay All right fun times in Shrike land So now we have one core six Shrike and a pack of three I guess that's better Our situation has improved Why do these guys keep going so ham? It's like every turn he shoots us with another bolt. Okay, there's the caustic strike. Okay, so we chuck down our freezing cloud. We actually use the correct button this time. And then we airstrike it. And we hope that we just block all its attacks. Okay. Uh, spark wasps are vulnerable to poison. Um, we should have the stuff of air in our hands while we do this. So we have our elect. Okay, good. Uh, that is another caustic strike. Why is there another one here? Don't tell me there's a new caustic strike pack spawning on this floor as well. Oh my god. <laughs> the nightmare. Oh my god, there is. There's another caustic strike pack here. Oh my god. Ye gods. Take this slowly, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Classic tracks on D3 and D2. Depths 3 and depths 2. Let's just read teleport. And I guess we may as well try to extract this guy to death. We land right next to Best God Beer, who immediately says hello. Um, Spark Wasp can just go ham. Let's fear him away. Best Beer is draining us. Here's a new dragon. And I hope this isn't the stair where these tracks were. I don't think it is. Oh man, what's happening in this episode? Oh, suddenly Corsic Shrike, okay. Um, I don't know that we can fight it from here. What if we acid it? Okay, 
you would expect these guys to be um, acid immune because they do acid attacks, but they're not. So its attacks are less now. Let's put down a freezing cloud. And I think we're dying to it. Uh, we can always blink away. What if we make a buddy? We we'll do a box of beasts. And then we'll start air striking. Uh, I think we need to blink away. Okay, he went for the box of beasts. Uh, let's head to the upstair. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> uh, Shrikes. Why did it have to be Shrikes? <laughs> uh, reminds me of Indiana Jones with the snakes. Same plan, I guess. Okay, so we get that. Let's acid him. Let's make a box of beasts, I guess. And then we airstrike. Okay. Well, we're doing it when it's one at a time. Here's another one. Uh, I need to get in here because I can't... Can't freezing cloud it over the lava tiles. Alright, we're doing it. The good thing about doing it is because, yeah, there's worth so much experience, we're losing our drain, which is handy. Wouldn't be the, the way that I would voluntarily choose to get rid of drain, but um, it is it is working, I guess. Man, you're starving. Let's eat a whole bunch of ogres. Okay, I think that's it for this floor. Let's find a stair without caustic tracks at it. This one? Yep. And I don't know if any of you were thinking he should be using tornado. Um, no, should not have been. Because, yeah, the Shreks will still hit you as they tornado around you. Put on our stuff of air for the RLAC. Hit them with Poison Cloud. Hello, best god, Bio. We need to run from you. You are too OP. You are a Bio follower, probably. Just do a, a tornado. Please don't hit me. Did not. What a nightmare. We spent 38 minutes trying to clear depths three. Oh man. We could just, we could just go to depths four. Oh, but there are the shrikes on this floor as well. Can we kill best god Bio if we have the stuff of Aaron? Because it, it gives more power to our airstrike. I feel like no, he's just too powerful. Well, as long as the strikes don't turn up, this will work eventually. He says they lied to you. The dungeon just goes down forever. <laughs> strikes are here. Is that a whole nother pack of them? That look like four new ones. Okay, let's go up. Jeez. This is Shrike Gaming. Well, <laughs> our drain's gone, so that's nice. Right. Uh, well, we can airstrike the air mage and the dragon. 
but the air the air elementals are immune to to air magic, so we can't air strike them or hit them with um, stag discharge. I think we just go downstairs. We just pretend this floor never happened. Never mind, the strikes are all back. I don't think we can pretend this never happened. Oh, I accidentally used Mephitic again. Never mind, we need to teleport. Someone got confused. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they're too strong. Can we get one of them? Maybe. Okay, this guy, if we take him upstairs. Oh man, look how much damage they do. And we teleport away. And blink away. And blink away. And blink away. Corsic Shrikes, not, not even once. We got Sif Muna's Handbook of Feathers. How how appropriate, seeing as we just killed all these strikes. It has Summon Lightning Spire, <laughs> Tornado. Maybe we should learn Summon Lightning Spire. We got five spell levels. Um. Nah. There we go. I knew there was another one. This might be the last one. Um, our acid one's out. That's okay. Oh, there are more. There are even more. Even more, more. <laughs> Alright, goodbye teleports. This is actually going to be one episode of just Shrike Hunter. Shift X Control F to forget the floor. It's too dangerous. I need to kill them. Because if we ever need to retreat up from depths 4, we, we just can't have caustic Shrikes running around. Here they come. I'm going to put a passage back over to this stair. What happened? Is it on our tile? No, it's not. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, they're all here. Let's go through that one. Hey, we need a teleport again. <laughs> and again. No, that wasn't a teleport. That was a blink. Okay. Didn't see us. Best squad be a no. Just need to fight one strike at a time. There's one. Can we get one? Yeah, okay, now it's teleport. Uh, blink. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that caustic strikes are nuts. Hopefully the last one. Oh my god. I think that's it. I think we're we're done for this floor. Well we can get best god Bio. We need something to cut to run around this pill here. Even with Oh that's the stuff of wizardry, right. I was wondering why it was doing no damage. Okay. Yeah. With the stuff of air this kinda of works. Kind of. He's not as dangerous as the Shrikes because we can always just run away from him. Let's start again actually. Let's have full mana when we do this. Ok, 
Okay, again, if you don't like kiting, skip a, skip a minute or two. Don't really have any other good way to deal with this. Maybe if we learn um, over destruction, maybe that would probably do it. He's actually just out healing the damage output we have. Can we, maybe we do a, a box of beasts to just try to help out. I feel like he's just going to kill it. Oh man, okay. See, so random energy onto us to drain us. Be, what a, he's a beast, more of a beast than our box was. Yeah, he's just not dying. Okay, you get to live best god beer. I don't know how you died, but Apparently your character is super overpowered. Let's go to depth 4 before this episode actually ends and I... Um, it's actually true that we spent a whole episode on one depth 4. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I turned function lock on. <laughs> super... Superd? I read it as super nerd. He says good luck. Thank you. Oh man, just go away. I've had enough of you. I already agree with you. I agree that Beer is the best squad. You don't need to you don't need to hunt me down. Okay, let's do <laughs> depths four. Oh dear, that was way too long. On that last floor. Hopefully that's our quota of caustic strikes for the game. That was about 10 or so. Uh, okay, there's a lich. Um, can we airstrike him? I put the stuff of air out because it's going to give us extra power. Um, Hellion, no, we need to go up. We're going to eat, yeah, damnations. And there's everybody's best friend, best god Bio, making it very painful. He can't really kill us, but we can't kill him. Let's pick a new stair, I guess. Nope. Nope, we cannot. Let's have another go. No, he just he doesn't care. <laughs> what about over destruction? Let's go get the book of power. Maybe over destruction can do it. Ah, uh, we only have six spell levels. Never mind, we need another spell level first. Well, we'll pick up the Book of Power um, and we'll say that Orbit Destruction will be the next spell that we learn. And the idea that behind that is that we'll use it for um, the dangerous single enemies like the Liches or the Plagos or even potentially Caustic Shrags maybe. Why are you everywhere? You are everywhere on this floor. I want to just go to a new stair. Thank you. Let's cast our regen before we go down. It's something that I should be doing all the time, but because I'm very lazy, I never do it. Um, first thing we do is switch to our stuff there so that we're resistant to a lek, and then we probably can just poison vapors them. No, we probably can't, they hurt too much. Uh, let's feed them away. Okay, well, we got one. Uh, we can probably kill one, uh, this guy. So poison vapors is that one. Mm, let's call for heal wounds. And then let's go airstrike. 
Yeah, so even with our Lek, these guys just do so much damage. Let's fear him away too. It's our last fear scroll. Ah, uh, he resisted. That's unfortunate. These guys have a relatively low MR. Uh, we need Quaff here wins again. Okay, and Airstrike. No, he's getting us every turn. Uh, Quaff again. One more Airstrike. Okay, he's done. And we need to get away before the next one comes back. Everybody's friend, best god beer. Uh, okay, we've got our stuff of air out. Can we kill this one? I'm gonna blink away. Okay, he died to the poison. Good. That's how the, the last one was meant to work. Yep, the wasps are brutal. Even with our luck, they still do tons of damage. Let's bring them out one at a time. And probably should keep poisoning them. Okay, we finally got a poison cloud. If we make a poison cloud, they're vulnerable to poison, so they'll they'll die pretty easily. Like that. Good. Okay. So we now have one heal winds potions left. Are there more? Check our shopping list. There is one more. Okay, we should go get those. Okay, this is too insane. Yeah, we've got, yeah, only one. Okay, let's do it. Let's go get this potion of heal wins. Back to elf. Man, I was planning to finish depths and do one or two runes this episode, and I don't even know that we're gonna finish. Hey, there are two heal wins here. I don't know that we're even gonna finish just depths. Let's eat. It would be a lot easier if we found a centaur biting. Check if I can spell. Nope. Where are all our our scrolls of acquirement? This game. Right. Should be casting regen. I keep forgetting. Because our protect missiles, we want to put our stuff of air on. Uh, we failed it. Uh, there's the lich. Let's go back up. Good. Here's a gold dragon. Uh, I feel like this is our out of depth timer getting us because we spent so long in depths three that we're now spawning gold dragons. Um, the good thing about this is that we can power up our Wormbane if we kill him with Wormbane. So it's at plus 14 at the moment. Now it's at plus 15. Sweet. So thank you out of depth timer. Um, this stair's dangerous. There's a Lich sitting there. Do we have enough spell levels now? No. We gotta get our spell casting to 17. Or we need to level up for that. Right, okay, yep, so this stair's dangerous too. So we blink away. Um, no, I think we just reset the fight. Let's bring out our wizardry. Let's regen, and then let's try a tornado. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good, so that worked was that stair. Same deal. Okay. Really should not be um, air striking the dragon if we don't have Wormbane wielded because without Wormbane we have no RF. Wait, I keep forgetting. We have a million RF. It's just RC we don't have. I remember now. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Forget everything I said. <laughs> I 
We just we just run up and then just start giving off lightning. Yeah, it's definitely the we're getting weird things happening. You don't just see normal um, death mages either. Well, we did spend a lot of time on Depths 3, both in terms of turns and time. Which I really, really want to have over destruction. These guys, we can put a freezing cloud on them all. Ah, okay. Well, we'll check the hatch out. <laughs> I was expecting us to land next to Bex Squad B. There are more Shrikes! There are even more Shrikes! There's another Shrike pack! Please, no. Is this a real thing that's happening? I think it is. <laughs> there are too many shrikes. The number of shrikes in this game is too damn high. Uh, we need to teleport. <sighs> it's S strike the one that's nearly dead. Okay, we got it. Uh, his best god beer to say hi. Oh man, there are more shrikes <laughs> everywhere. I can't deal with it. <laughs> There's too many tracks. 